Okay, so if you look at these wires, you've got this one right here that has a insulative covering, okay? And then this one over here that's the bare copper conductor, that's the ground. And this is the, uh, this is the one that's the positive. If we look on the back of the speaker, here's my two solder connections right here, okay? It's a fairly large area, so it'll be easy to solder. But what happens if I leave the soldering on iron on there too long? Melt. It'll melt the voice coil. Inside this structure in here, there's a real small wire looped. And if I leave the heat on too long, it'll melt. So I need to be as quick as possible to solder these two sections on. So, I'm going to put my safety glasses on. Well, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> to be safe. Now, soldering iron. This tip, when I put it on the sponge, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. See how it got nice and shiny? Woo, shiny! But before, it was really nasty. That's because it oxidizes. This solder is 60% lead and 40% tin. And you can see that it sets off fumes when I melt the solder onto the soldering iron. See the fumes? The only thing it'll do is give you a headache. If you're subject to, you know, like smells and stuff and like it's not good for you. It's not going to do anything good for you. So anyway, I wipe it on the sponge to clean it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of solder to transfer the heat, put it on the tip of the soldering iron, and I'm going to come down here on my solder joints, and then I'm going to melt a little bit of solder on there to transfer the heat. Okay, and you can see it gets molten. Now see it's shiny? Before it, those two connections weren't shiny. Now they're shiny. That means I've got um, good clean solder ready to solder the leads on with. So now I'm going to come around. I'm going to make sure that this fits first. So this is what's going to happen right here. Okay, I'm going to solder the wires in. I'm going to take my soldering iron out. Unfortunately they're not labeled as which one's positive and which one's negative, so we're just going to guess. If there's a phasing issue, the only thing that will really be affected is the low frequency content. Okay, so that side's soldered. We're going to go around to this side. Well, <clears throat> on the back of a speaker, what do you have? What's the back of a speaker? Magnet. It's a magnet. So this magnet keeps sticking to my soldering iron, which makes me move it. So that's soldered. Connection looks all right. So now we can reassemble these. Here's those little tabs I was telling you about here on either side. And I'm going to make sure that this knot fits on this side of that little, can you see that? I'm going to make sure that the knot fits on the inside of that so that we have strain relief and then we're going to try and snap this back in place and hopefully it works. So we just did a $50 okay. repair to a $5 set of headphones which is why I say they're disposable, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you know, they're not like Bose noise cancellation headphones. I mean, they're probably yeah, not bad. Have have See what happens. Wait, what do you usually have? Yay! Adios! Live in Airtube, say to me, bye-bye, Lois, get the bucket, Chelsea, bye-bye, have a nice day, go away.